Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my brand new video. I'm extremely sorry I couldn't upload a video last week, but today I'm here to make up for that. And I am assuming that from the title you already know what I'm gonna talk about today. And today I'm gonna talk about a specific Valkyrie, uh, just a specific Valkyrie and her name is none other than high share of thunder yo baby and she's a psychic type valkyrie you all know that and if you ask me in my opinion she is the best lightning damage dealer in the whole honkai impact 3 franchise if you ask me i mean like come on you want to debate i dare you to change my mind i mean like She's the best lighting damage dealer. Though there's another thing that in the collab, which is 4.9 update, there's gonna be two more lightning damage dealer, which will be Fischl and Kitchen, who will be coming from our neighboring game called Genshin Impact. So if you haven't seen that video, I will give in the uh, give the link in the description. Just go and check that video. I told everything about collab, and yeah, but. Until then, she's the best uh, damage dealer, and I don't know if they are gonna be damage dealer or support characters, so there's that. So, getting a bell curve is quite easy. I mean, like, just save up crystal and pull for them. And you might, if you are like super lucky, like a random person, I don't know who, then you will get a bell curve within one pull. But if you're like super unlucky person, like me, <laughs> that you will. You might have to pull like 199 pulls just to get one Valkyrie. Like me, every freaking time I literally have to pull 99 pulls just to get one Valkyrie. <laughs> Anyways, um, getting a Valkyrie is quite easy. You might get A rank, B rank, or S rank Valkyries, doesn't matter. But, 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 the most important thing, underline in the most, the most important thing would be building up a certain character. And today I'm gonna talk about that. And eventually, I will be talking about other harshers and other Valkyries too. Of course, those on which I already have. So yeah, don't get your hopes up. I don't have all the Valkyries. Duh. Anyways, uh, so as you can see, when you press on a certain Valkyrie, for in this case, Harsher of Thunder, you will see there are two sections. One is her name and title. Her name is ready in May and her title is Harsher of Thunder. And another one is her level and ranking. So just click on the level and ranking and you will see two options. One in Stigmata, not two options, there are like literally four options. Uh, level up, then weapon, Stigmata and skills. Just go to weapon and as you can see, I'm using Domain of Sanction which is uh, an augmented version of her uh, signature weapon and the original name of her weapon will be key of catastrophication or something let me show you um here it is if i go to the forge i go here chosen weapon and here it is the key of castigation so yeah this is her uh, signature weapon so you have to get it first and don't worry if you don't have enough crystal you just have the character and you also don't have her signature stigmatas which are banneress awakening so doesn't that also doesn't matter so don't worry i'm also gonna give some solution about that so just go back and click on her title menu and as you can see there are three options profile synergy and equipment as you can see in her profile you can see her stats obviously and all her passive and active moves as you can see here it is so yeah that's that and go to the equipment and you will see there are three sections for beginners master and economy masters are basically the signature weapon and stigmatas obviously the for beginners is like using some four star stigmata and weapon and i don't recommend it please i beg you don't go for the for beginner stuff i mean like yeah this will be a super basic build up but she will be like like useless yeah the i mean like the first word came into my head is she will be sakura she will be sakura like literally she will be sakura all the enemy enemy fans there who is i mean like who are watching my video they will get like she will be sakura if you was for beginner stuff <laughs> sakura fans don't don't sue me okay <laughs> anyways and after that as i told you if you don't have the master that's in the signature weapon and stigmata just go for the economics economics is quite good so just go for the economics as you can see uh for the first thing you will need to get a five star 
a weapon which is Fusunoshi, Fusunoshi 2, okay, <laughs> the Chinese names, yeah, and it's pretty easy to get, just uh, save up some AE Imagineon and you can get this for easy. And after that comes the stigmatas. As you can see, these stigmatas are also free to play and you can build up. And amazingly, for free to play stigmatas, these Darwin, that's in the lightning uh, stigmatas, are pretty amazing. Believe me, they are pretty amazing. So you can build up for her. And after you build up for them, then you can go for generation 1, generation 2, and generation 3. You have to figure that out on your own so i would like to tell but since i'm gonna tell you about everything so yeah of course i'm gonna give you the whole tutorial uh as you can see she is uh the uh, you know nakamitsu so you can build her or otherwise you can go for monet monet is also another generation to base like after her signature uh, her share of thunder signature stigmatas i will say go for Mon a monet because she is the best uh, best of the best free to play uh, stigmata so i will suggest you for go for her but if you are just got her uh, got the harsh of thunder and you want to play then just i will suggest you just use the stigmatas here the darwin she is also pretty good she if i had to you know rank them i will keep darwin in rank three and in rank two i will keep monet and in rank one i will put her the banner race uh in other words the signature stigmata so yeah that's about it that's about her build up and i hope you will uh find it easy to build for her right uh, i'm like not just her any valkyries uh, you can see here you can build up for them just go there and look for the equipment and go here and this will be the you know the third best one and after that after you do a little bit of research and you just you know move around and see stuff as you can see max storm is also another very amazing uh what do you call a really amazing weapon uh this will be this will be i will rank this one the second best the second after the signature weapon i will suggest this is the second best uh what do you call it um weapon lightning damage uh, damage the weapon the max storm and eventually you will get it to max typhoon as you can see this is the blade that looks like and if you augment it it will be turned into max typhoon which is also most amazing and to the record i told uh, i should tell you one thing uh mac typhoon or mac storm was originally built for her uh you know the ye sakura the dark bolt jonin it was originally built up for her because it was her signature weapon but after the uh harsher of, Re harsher of thunder was released and we got her signature weapon this became can you believe the key of castigation become our signature weapon and if you guys don't believe me like why this uh, why Mac Storm why, or uh, Mac Typhoon was originally built up for her uh, I mean Dark Bolt Jonin it is because uh, dark, uh, here the Mac, Mac Typhoon if you go to stats as you can see her ultimate can only be used by Lightning Empress and Dark Bolt Jonin <laughs> can you imagine Lightning, uh, Lightning Empress and Dark World Jonin can only use her. They only use the active skill of Mac Typhoon and uh, Mac Storm. So yeah, but as you can see now it has changed. Okay, without further ado, I'm not gonna make this video long. Uh, only 10 minutes or so. So I'm gonna show you some uh, moves. I mean, like how you can, how you know. Whenever you are playing, there is a uh, you are using a Valkyrie for the first time. You always think like, hey, what are the combos? Hey, let's just spam the basic attack button, and it will give us some combos anyways. So don't do that. Don't do that. Just click on the character you want to know their skill, then go to her level and ranking, and after that go to skills. And in the skills, you can see all the skills are categorized like evade, basic attack, ultimate, special attack, leader attack, and passive attack. The passive attacks are most of the time the QTE and other stuff. So yeah, this will just come eventually. This will be uh, put into the um, what do you call the combo moves and stuff. And in the evade, you already know what's an evade just you know dodge the attack and for the basic attack if you go there as you can see in the basic attack there are a few stuff QTE, Cars of Mikazuki and Mental of Prajan so Prajna anyways 
So the thing is, the basic attack is not the basic attack, only the basic attack. Uh, what did I say now? Anyways, uh, <laughs> the basic attack is not just the basic attack. It is actually gives you the combo, combo to use her uh, this like Take Mizuki's Edge or whatever. So this for this one, as you can see, the inputs are basic, 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 basic. Then the five basic uh, spam, literally spam the basic attack. And after that, if you go to the special attacks, it will see that hold. Uh, I'm like there will be a red bar uh, just above the HP bar of Archer of Thunder. If that becomes full, the just hold the basic attack and you will get a dimension slash or another word, the Susano's Frangi. Yeah, the Susano. You know Susano, uh, like you know uh, Sasuke's special move, Susano. Yeah, you guys don't know that? Yeah, anime fans will definitely know that. In the, you know, in the Naruto, Sasuke used Susano, Itachi used Susano. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, the uh, then go, comes our ultimate, just do the ultimate. And there are some specific ultimate moves that I'm gonna show you right now. Like, how to use her ultimate properly. So, yeah. And one more thing before I go to the uh, demo part. Like, if you want your harsher of thunder to be like go beyond and plus ultra you know the anime fans again the go beyond and plus ultra dialogue you know from boku no hero academia anyways if you want her to like go beyond and plus ultra that's mean you want to use her like 120 percent of her power just use her uh, signature weapon and stigmata that's the best way to do that there's no other way uh, but if you want to use her like 100 percent then just go with the uh, uh, guideline I gave you and after that I will go to uh, Here the abyss. I mean again to don't look at my scores, please. Yeah, I know it's uh, I like I'm lacking in the physical team and this was a physical battlefield I mean like battlefield for physical backers as you can see See this is the physical build-up. So I don't have them. So yeah, I like in physical department yeah, Anyways, so I'm gonna just show you how to use her ultimate properly uh, the basic attacks you can get that from uh, you know from the place I already show you and I will show you how to use her ultimate properly here it goes uh, a little as to build up and this is the move I told you before the dimension slash and when her ultimate comes there is a limit how can I mean like there is a time limit to use her ultimate so First, basic, basic, basic. This is three basic, and then uh, press the basic button to use the dragon rage. And again, basic, basic, basic. I mean, three basics, and again, three basics, and then when at the last time you use dragon rage. So if you guys didn't got what I told, it was like first time uh, spam three times the basic attack and you will get a dragon tornado, dragon wind attack, whatever you say. Yeah, I went to the Pokemon basics. Anyways, so you will get a storm like um, first three like wing attack, wing attack and then storm. And after that you will use dragon rage. Then come down and use that, uh, use dragon tornado twice. Like basic, basic, basic. Again, basic, basic, basic. This means six time basics individually and then use the dragon rage afterwards and there will be um, let me show you in this part you will see there will be a uh, uh, let me show you once again just give me a sec um, I need to build up and building for her SP is quite easy um, 63 yeah your dimension break it's like you know uh, the leader of the black clover the captain yami <laughs> he uses the dimension breaks <laughs> yeah you know another anime fact okay here is the ultimate so if you do ultimate let me show you you will see a timer here see uh, right above her HP, there is a timer and when this timer is gone you will have you will be in your normal form so see the tornado then this rage and after coming back, just look at the timer. When timer is almost gone, then use your rage again. That's the way you can use her ultimate way more precisely and way more durably. So, because Dragon Rage is her ultimate's most powerful attack, 
I mean, like, her dragon's most powerful attack. So, uh, but you can only use this twice. I will recommend you to only use it twice because when you're using it, the timer is still going up. So, just make the balance. Use the basic attacks for her dragon, which is her ultimate, her dragon. And after using the first, uh, first three basic attacks, that's when Dragon Tornado used her one rage. And after that, use uh, her basic attack twice then use her dragon rage again that's why you can um, you know get the full potential of dragon rage. so yeah guys i hope you understood and that's about it for today i hope i was able to make you understand and you will now have a proper grasp of how to use a valkyrie properly and how to build up a valkyrie so yeah that's about it i hope you guys like my video and please supporting me i don't know if, how many people are watching there and doesn't matter how many of you are watching, but thank you so much for all the support and I will see you in the next video.